Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Carolina. I'm just gonna go jump right in. I'm starting off with Evian. I got this for five dollars a while ago. I got this on clearance at TJ Maxx. They usually run for like twenty something dollars. When I saw it on clearance, I could not pass this up. I'm doing Tatcha. I hope everybody had a good um, good holiday though. And if you don't celebrate, um, just know I'm thankful for you guys. I just wanted to mention that. I'm starting off with my eyes. I've let everything kind of sink into my skin. I'm going in with the shade Birch from the Sultry palette. I did pick this up at TJ Maxx for $22. Birch is usually that um, brown transition shade. This one did not come with nor or a brush. I don't need a brush because I have like two already. Um, two of these. So I just went ahead and um, I was fine with like the discount. I just wanted it at a discount. Um, real quick, because I had proof that I had found the box because it didn't come with the box either. But I had found the box um, and I had to get a picture of it. Because I had done that, um, they were able to like, because originally they were trying to give me twenty nine ninety nine, and I was like, nope, I know it was twenty seven ninety nine, and then they knocked it down to twenty two because of, yeah, and I even had the receipt right there. It was like twenty seven ninety nine, and then they knocked it down to twenty two, because it was missing that stuff, and because I had taken a picture, they were able to give it to me um, at a discount. I'm just placing this color right here in in the outer V of my eye, and like slowly starting to. Um, to swirl my brush around a little bit just trying to transition that color and i'm going to put down a base color which is flesh so flesh i like to be right here and i usually put this down with my finger i do not i don't know i just like the way it packs on with your finger you can use a brush sometimes i'll use the brush but at this moment i just wanted to use my finger i'm just going to put this down keep this shade only on my lid i already dipped it in I'm going in with a Sigma Duo Fiber Blending Brush E41. I did pick this up at TJ Maxx. Um, I really like this brush. Do you want to mention that I did pick it up? Don't remember how much um, at this very moment, but I know I got it there. Going in with a 224 brush, I usually like to just swirl it around in place and it will diffuse it. You see how that looks? I didn't have to do too much. I just swirl in place. Overall, my thoughts on the product, it, it works um but it's not my favorite so it did take a lot of blending and moving stuff around trying to get it to like look right um i don't know i would tell you to skip out on it like if you had my honest like honest like if you were in front of me and you're like should i buy it yes or no i would tell you no i would tell you wait <laughs> i would tell you to wait and, until these pop out i sprayed some mac fix plus on my face i definitely wanted to mention that i already put on my lashes and for eyeliner, I went in with the Makeup by Mario eyeliner. I do want to mention that you have to use, like you can't go in with concealer. I didn't know some people use concealer and then as a primer for your eyeshadow. With this product, you can't do that. You have to use a regular primer. Um, I just used the Tatcha primer, primer for um, for my lids because otherwise it will transfer and it'll get everywhere. <laughs> I know somebody's going, hey, I don't care. Um, I need to show you all this. So I picked up the Lancome Click and Glow. Um, I got it for $4.49. It was on clearance. Uh, when I got home, it was in perfect condition. Okay, it does come with like a little, little. Okay, so it's open because I like I got my husband to open it. I felt like a little girl, like stand, like he had like all his tools down. And he was doing everything, and I was just standing there like, can you fix it? Because <laughs> like I was clicking and nothing was coming out. Like I pulled this apart. He was making fun of me because like. I like I'm the one that he found like trying to with the screwdriver and all that like trying to open it because I thought the problem was was here and actually the problem was here so I'm ghetto okay I'm I'm very frugal I'm very yo I will use my resources okay so I have this I've already like I had to like control it because it was like once I started going like it wouldn't stop um this is now I got, I got stuff all over my hands this is in the shade of zero one um, it's like a champagne color. I really do like it. Again, for $49. Usually runs for about $20-something. $28, I think, because I looked it up. I'm just going to... In order for it to move, because like I know other people didn't have this problem, but I do. So I'm using like um, like a thing from a pen, and then I'm just going to like lodge it in like that, and then I'm going to push it in. Um, oh, I'm just going to use this side, not the other side. 
and then I'm just gonna um, push that in because then the product comes out. Otherwise, the product doesn't come out. I already put down primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit right there. That's pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I know that's so ghetto, but I do not care because it was, yo, if, if I didn't pick it up, somebody else was, feel me? And $4.49, and the original price is $28. So, um, for my Lunar, I do cover it, like, with product, and then I go back in and I clean it up. That's so pretty. I'm going to blend this out. That's so pretty. I'm going to blend out with my finger. It's not tacky. It's not tacky at all. It's very lightweight. Wow, it's pretty. Right there. And a little bit on the tip. For corrector, I'm gonna go in with a Smashbox Look Less Tired. I usually put a little bit right there and right there. For a foundation, I bought numbers 25 and 24. I got these for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. Going with Miel. Miel is my shade. The other one is way too light. Yo, this is like full, full coverage. Like, hold on, this is, this is the real test. <laughs> That's full coverage. If you can cover my lunar, that's full coverage. Wow. Wow, four dollars. A little bit does go a long way. Dimensions Effect Contour Stick, running for four ninety nine from Morphe. I picked it up in the shade hashtag Effect fifteen. These are running for four ninety nine. So I wanted to mention this pearl before applying it. Um, I did play with it the other day just to see how I felt about it. It's not as creamy as I'm used to it. Like it's it's a little stiff um but a little bit does go a long way this one is on like the grayer like cool tone side just put a little bit there i do like sticks better because they just help apply the product way better i just put a little bit here and then i'm just gonna blend this out this sephora 72 brush I have mentioned this brush before. I picked this up for $5, something like that. At TJ Maxx, $5.99, $4.99. I love this brush, especially for cream contour. It just blends it out so seamlessly. Really do enjoy the bristles. Super effortless. That's what the word is I'm looking for. It's effortless. Um, you see, I did put a little bit on, so I'm going to have to go back in. I'm just going to do this. You see how effortless that is? But I really like how this came out. I love this color on my skin tone just because it, it looks more of like a gray tone effect, which is what I, I was going for. To set my contour, I'm gonna be going in with the Marc Jacobs bronzer. This I picked up at Marshalls for $16.99. I'm gonna go in with a Sephora number 74 brush. I'm going in like, I don't have any powder. So with this one, I'm just going to tap in place. I do like this brush a lot for blush and contouring. I have been using it for both, but I like it more for um, for contouring and bronzing. I'm just placing the bronzer where I want it. I wanted to quickly mention that the highlight is peeking through the foundation, so I really do like that. Okay, I'm a little nervous because I don't know. I picked this up. I picked up the shade number two, and these are running for $8.99. Um... We'll see, we'll see. It does come with a little mini concealer and it does come with a full size. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so this is my shade, like my exact shade. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit amount and then I'm gonna build up. Okay, this is my shade. I was I knew I knew number two was gonna be my shade. Because number three was way too dark. And number one was way too light. So I was like, I know number two is just gonna be just right. <laughs> and I was right. So I'm happy about that because I, I don't you can't return makeup back to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So um it's really a gamble. Like if you pick the wrong shade, then you know you're short. Um, with that other foundation that I picked up, I am going to give it to my sister. One of you mentioned to use the Urban Decay Velvetizer under the eye. So I'm trying it because one of you guys mentioned it. I haven't used it for under the eye. I've used it for everywhere else. I don't know how I think. I don't know. 
kind of changed the color or I think it enhanced the color. Yeah, that wasn't the right move. I'll be back. I'm gonna show you a trick that I do to fix it. I will counteract it with something that's way lighter. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here. This is like a regular um, True Beauty brush. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Translucent. I picked this up for $12.99. This thing is huge. Original price is like 30 something. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and put this down. Cause this is that, um, the other powder was way too light and I have to, not way too light. It like changed the color on the concealer. It made it, it, it looked bad. It looks bad in person. Um, so I have to fix this. I've dusted off the translucent powder. I did my nose off camera. Now I'm gonna go in and do my lips. For my lips today, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier in Crimson. This lip liner, I got in a kit at TJ Maxx along with the lipstick. I'm gonna go in this color right here. For my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Lover lipstick from Morphe, running for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. I, I have never tried any um, of their lipsticks before, so I wanted to quickly mention I really like the shape. I like, I like that a lot. I like the emblem on it. This is the shade Lover. This is the one that I picked out for myself. My lips are really dry, so. Okay. Yo. Yo. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. Wow, mira. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing a red lip. It is Christmas and I am the Christmas present. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm just gonna um, use that same lip liner. Clean up. Clean up. I like the formula on it too. I like it. Okay, now I want to go back to TJ Maxx. Whenever I try out my makeup and I really like the formula on something, I'm like, I have to go back and get more. Because it will go quick, you know? It will go quick, especially in my area. And especially like when I post a video, it'll go, it's gone. I'm like, crap. Give. Bello. Que bello este color. What? Mm. See, this is why I didn't do too much on my eyes because I knew the red was going to take away from everything else. Okay, really quickly, quick thought. I shouldn't have done the... I thank you for the advice, but, like, I shouldn't have done that because it, like, transformed the concealer. Like, it, it changed the color at Ross. I got it in the shade 05 Nude. Definitely wanted to mention this pearl. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. I like to bring it out. Um, it's a nude, so I like to keep it for, for moments that I need it like this. I'm just putting a little bit like that. I really love the Bold Lip from Morphe. $4, again in the shade Lover. Really, really like it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel drying. It is not transfer proof because I did get some on my, on the back of my hand, but it's fine. The color is still there, so that's amazing. 